everyone. All right. So tutorial on the packet notebook mold. This is my A7 or A5. Sorry, it's notebook big. mold. It's big. And I've already mixed my packet yesterday, but. I don't know what everybody else says, but they always say it's the same amount of water to the packet, that it's not true. So, to me, if you add just a tad bit of water to it as you go to get a milky consistency, I guess is the word I'm looking for, then you're good to go. Um, you don't want it to be too runny, then it takes forever to dry. Can you plug that in behind me? Um, so this one might be a little bit longer than making the ornaments, so bear with me. Um, so I've got my tacket brush that I use, and if you rinse it right away, you don't have the problem of it sticking together. If you wait too long, it doesn't really work. And then tack it over and over. Um, and then again, the A7 notebook mold. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to use my heat gun to dry it, because that's what I used yesterday. A little bit does go a long, long way. So you just want to be sure you coat the whole, the whole mold, mold, blah, 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 mold, and you don't want it clumpy. You don't want it to be more white in some places, more so than others. Uh, then you'll have an uneven, yeah. Make sure it's so I'm ready, that you get um, all the corners and such really good. I um, think I'm pretty well covered already. So you can't really tell, but it is coated fairly well. And now we got. You have to let it dry. I like to use my heat gun to speed up the process. So. Here's my heat gun. I'm gonna have to do it over here because my cord's not very long and it's very loud. I know it's already loud in here. And it's like silicone, so it doesn't take as long to dry as it normally does. On a, on a cup. It's an A7 notebook mold. And we're gonna, I'm doing a tacket method on the notebook mold with the actual tacket. So all I did was, I had already had some mix of tacket with water. You add a very, very little bit of water. It's not um, the same amount of water to tacket. Whoever said that is a lie. Um, you want it to be kind of like a milky substance. Uh, you don't want it to fall completely out, but enough to be tacky a little bit. Um, and I use my heat gun to dry it. It's really thin, so it doesn't take long to dry. I can't really tell if it's dry. But um, now I'm gonna add my holographic glitter that I got from the Nolas, which is Butterfly Kisses. And this is very, very, very messy in case you missed all that prior to. It's a very messy project. It's pink. It's pink. 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 So. And you guys here, feel free to go back and watch this video again later. Shall we? Bye. And I do it over parchment paper, so if it makes a mess, at least it goes on the parchment paper. Usually my girls are in here with their um, slime. No. Not today. I'm making red. So you want to be sure you get all it all covered. I think for the most part it is covered. So shake your excess off. I like to pour it back in the container after I do all that. And then 
and you just rub it. They say to rub in circles, I just rub. So you just rub it. <laughs> and when I'm done, I like to take a paper towel and get the excess off of it. Um, so, so far that's the holographic look I've gotten. And you do it all over and you want, like I say, to get in these cracks here, I use a paper towel. If you use your fingernail or the tip of your finger, you're gonna accidentally scratch it and it's not gonna look as pretty. do it outside but doing it outside makes me glittery because the wind likes to blow it right back at me. Just one piece, Levi. Yeah. So, this is what we have, what it looks like. This is why I take a paper towel to it. It doesn't hurt it to take a paper towel at all to it. So, you'll know you'll have like dark specks it, it'll look kind of like the spot right here I don't know if you can see it but it's dry I just haven't wiped it but it'll look like that and my daughter makes some me a for me nope what color I'll point to you easy to come off. But you don't want to leave the excess on there then it takes away from the holographic effect. Mm -hmm. And these bigger ones they take no. Mm -mm. They take a lot more epoxy too. Um, I'll show you my cup in a minute. Mm -hmm. Because they're so, they're so big. Mm -hmm. I think I got it all. Two. I'm three. So this is the holographic of the pink one. I did one yesterday of the gold. And that was woodpecker, imperial woodpecker. So this one. And then, usually I wash my hands, but this is how much epoxy the sucker takes. Just one, just one mold. You may or may not use all of it. Um, I think actually this one might be able to do both. Um, but you wanna just, you don't wanna dump it in there and let it just level itself. So sometimes I don't like, I don't get the corners very well and my notebooks come out super, super thin. So Whoa. I try to not really overfill, but fill it pretty good. I'm just getting these corners one more time. So I'm gonna make a matching one. Later. Baby. Mm -hmm. 
My baby. Hey guys, I have a uh, sugar glider. So you just want to fill it up like you normally would any other mold. Um, and then, of course, the notebook molds, they like to get holes in them. You can either take a toothpick to them to pop them, or I use my heat gun to get them out. Whichever, they work both ways. If you're impatient like me, I like to just dump the whole thing on there. It doesn't really work, so let's do it right the first time. I'm sure I'll have to go back later and fill in holes. And you can apply a water slide to these also if you wanted to on the notebook mold to add a feature or you could add someone's name or whatever you would like to them. Um, I'm not having very good success, I guess, um, in selling the notebook and I probably sell them way too cheap, but if somebody else were making them, I wouldn't want to spend $20, $30 on a notebook. But I've priced mine at ten dollars, and people don't want to spend ten dollars on a notebook. But something like this, a holographic, you won't be able to buy it in the store. So maybe people would want to buy it. Levi. And if you leave the air bubbles, I've done that before where you leave a few air bubbles, you'll have like holy, it'll make holes later in your notebook as it starts to cure. So yesterday I took a heat gun and I didn't have any holes in the new one and it was really thick, which is the first thick one I've ever made and I've made about five. You know they're super thin and flimsy on the end. So it looks like this cup will probably do both molds versus just the one, it's the way I'm doing it. But I think yesterday when I did it, I had to mix a little bit more because um, I ran out of the sec on the second mold. And I don't really know how to factor in pricing when it comes to epoxy, how much epoxy you use on something. So now I'm just going around to fill it in where usually I get flimsy, they get flimsy on me. So I like to fill in the ends so they're not bendable. Can you get Kaylin? These usually take about 24 hours to dry. They're not, can you give me the gold notebook? They're not um, quick. Even though you would think being thin, they would be quicker to, to cure. They're definitely not. Um, I had to leave one overnight, and when I took the gold one out this morning, it was still very tacky um, on the front. So I've left it out all day today, and this is my outcome of my imperial woodpecker. Um, I don't know why it's not working. Can you move your ball? Thank you. Can turn on that light? Maybe this side will work. There's no lighting in here. But, well, it is holographic. I don't know why it's not working right this second, but it does work and it's very pretty. There it goes. So. And the pink one will do the same. Um, but to not let it spill. I'm not going to move it, but so y'all can see 
but it is pretty full. Um, and I will go live tomorrow and do a, what you call it, <laughs> video, uh, when I pull it out. And I purchased my rings because I'm tired of waiting on my supplier to ship things to me. I purchased them on Amazon for a whole bag of like 100 or 250 pieces of the rings. I got them for like $8. Um, and the paper I got on Amazon, a three pack for $9. So it's, and you get them so much faster than having to wait for a buy-in or something like that to happen. And you can buy them just like, um, the calendar ones you can buy them like that. Um, I just I go the fastest route because I'm impatient and don't want to wait four weeks for them to come in. I'm gonna stop filling that up and I'm gonna use the rest for another mold. So I hope this was helpful for you guys and gives you something else to create um, for your craft shows. Thanks for watching.